Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Last time we made our way to the first save point in, er, yeah, the first save point in Abyss Tower. Not including the town, I guess, but, well, we get a little weapon, up well, not an upgrade. But, well, it's there if you couldn't get the Emperor Edge. Well, it boosts some stats a little bit, but otherwise, nah, I'm not really concerned with that. But I just wanted to perfect my inventory. Oh, we actually have a new enemy here. Okay, I thought I fought all the new enemies around here. Okay, Amon! Let's see, these guys are pretty unremarkable, too. Most of the enemies around here are. Let's see what these guys can do. Well, they can cast Typhoon, and they can get a combo attack, but... Yeah, they're... I know they got a bit of HP, I guess. They're not immune to status ailments. Ow. But they do have really high resistance to status ailments, so... Eh. And by the way, since last time, they're... Oh, we're not done yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, since last time, I actually did another death warp that I wasn't planning on. Because there's a few items that I wanted to pick up that might be useful coming up here. Just some very slight optimization, not or nothing extraordinary. But I thought it might help to pick up some uh, Wisdom Braces and the Diffuse Orb. I was going to do that later, originally. But I figured it'd save time in the recording just to do it off-screen. By the way, we got these little glowing orbs around here. Those just teleport you around the dungeon. Oh, I can't? I could have sworn... Oh, I won an item from a random battle. That's why I don't have the inventory space. I could have sworn I had the space, and I did until I won that silver tiara that I don't care about. But here we get the ultimate armor for Ryu, the dragon armor. So, yeah, let's see what we got there. Eh, that'll help out your speed a little bit there and also let's see yeah that could help well no you know what you really don't care about the fire protection or the vigor boost so yeah let's just leave you alone there for now like that there was a path that i could have taken earlier to the right there that would take you to a healing pool but since i death warped i didn't feel the need to do that Okay, let's change our setup here before going in that room there. Okay, let's see. For Ryu, I actually want to get, equip him with a couple Wisdom Braces. Because that'll help out... Er, yeah. Yeah, that'll help out his uh, magic resistance a bit. Not, and a little bit on damage there. Although it's not a huge concern for Ryu, but it is there. Let's see. For Bosh... He almost has max wisdom to begin with anyway. So let's just give him courage belts. As long as your speed is 90 or more, you'll be fine. So I'm not worried about the speed there. Sten could use all the help he could get on magic defense. And actually, this is a little critical for Sten there because without the wisdom braces, his wisdom stat might not be quite high enough to prevent him from losing his fusion if he takes a lot of magic damage. And let's see, for Aspara, we don't really need the, or the, yeah, speed shoes at all there. So let's just go back to our good old skull brace. Yeah, wisdom caps at 255, so. And let's see, anything else? Oh, Ryu doesn't quite have max AP. I definitely want to fix that. So let's go with that. And where is it? Ah, there we go. And I think we're all set and ready to go. For the darkness. Who's there? You're no god to me, mister. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Who are you, anyway? Ah. 
Well, then why bother with all the Church of Ava and all that stuff going on? What the? How did you get here? How did you get out before the beginning of the game? I mean, you were in that cave that whole time, so... How did you get here, then? Hey, hey, alright! Dragon Quarter? No, no, that's another game. For boss time! Against Barbaroi himself. Okay, first things first. Let's see, I want to get a good shield spell on everyone there. Let's go with the Ari shield on Ryu. And let's see, Aspara, why don't you use your soul shield on Sten? He's a little light on wisdom and HP. And if Barbaroi uses Valhalla on us, that could be really, really bad. <laughs> he might lose his fusion without the extra wisdom. But if you didn't bring the wisdom braces with you, don't worry about it. We're going to be leaving here eventually anyway. One way or the other. Now, you notice that Barbaroi could counterattack there. So that's why I'm not having Bosch go on the offense here. And not to mention, I need him to take care of healing for us. Okay, let's see. With Sten there. You know, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of AP here. Let's just go with Slice for now to avoid a counterattack. And let's see. Where is it? Oh yeah, by the way, the barrier spell does the same thing as a soul shield would do. But I've already got a soul shield. Uh, let's go with Ice Blast. Now this part of the fight is scripted. Though you do need to deal some amount of damage to him in order to progress to the next phase of the fight. Depending on how you go from there. I could have used Shirako, too. Oh, um, yeah, I suppose. Well, maybe you should have killed me off before I could grow up to wield a sword against you. What do you mean, a duel of honor? We're kind of fighting for the fate of all creation. Or at least this world, anyway. But, well, let's take the easy way out first here. Yeah, it kind of doesn't matter if we have honor if we all die before boss time. Okay, now this is the real fight. So we start the same way that we did before there. Let's see. Okay, let's go... Yeah, with Ari shield and... Let's see, Soul Shield on Sten. I'm going to get Barrier set up on more allies this time around. Since the fight is actually going to last long enough for it to be worthwhile. Oh, right, I, I could have Ryu use his uh, Kaiser Dragon. I forgot about that. That's okay. We'll just do it in the next round. By the way, what the Barrier spell actually does is it doubles your Wisdom stat up to a maximum of 255. Ow! And if I did not have that stat or that buff on Sten there, he would have lost his fusion there. Okay, so let's go Kaiser Dragon. We can't use Infinity here. Let's see, Bosch. Now the where is it? Now the Vitalize isn't going to be enough to fully heal from all that damage. That's why we got the hard tax in the event that he does cast uh, Valhalla there. Now, I want to be a little careful with Ryu attacking. I mean, in this case, I'm just using Kaiser Dragon, so it's not a big deal. But, yeah, Barbaroi can hit you really hard with a counterattack sometimes. Although, for Ryu, it's not as big of a deal because, well, he doesn't have a Shaman form to lose. That'll take a good chunk off. Let's see, Aspara doesn't need the Wisdom Up status. 
because she's already at the cap anyway. So we'll just go with this, and I'm pretty much going to have Bosch healing for the entire fight. Unless I don't take damage for some reason. Okay, let's see. With Sten, Shirako would deal a bit more damage, but Inferno is more cost efficient. So I'd like to go with that. Not to mention, I'd rather not sit through the same spell animation multiple times in a single round. I'd like to mix things up a little bit, too. But yeah, Shiraka would deal more total damage there. Another advantage of having the your wisdom buffed with the barrier spell is that it affects your magical crit rate too. At least for Sten, anyway, as far as I was already there. Okay, let's see. So the rest of the fight is pretty much going to be the same unless he gets another... What was that? Another Valhalla on us. By the way, that hard attack that I used not only healed all of us to our maximum HP, but it also gives you the shield status as well. From the... Well, from the shield spell. By the way, in the official translation, the barrier spell is actually the shield spell, and the shield spell from this translation is defense up X in the original translation. So, yeah, kind of gets a bit tricky to keep them separate there, but we'll be okay. You could also go with Ice Blast from Aspara there, too. Because Ice Blast would be the most cost-efficient spell we got. But I don't think it deals quite enough damage for that to be a good trade-off. I mean, you'll deal... Your base damage is going to be like 100 from that. Without a crit. So, uh-oh, that's going to hurt. I could buff up Bosch's attack and have him attack. But I don't want to risk him losing his shaman form. Because, well, Barbora would probably counterattack, regardless of however much damage I dealt. But we're doing okay as far as... I mean, he's not casting Valhalla that often. And Bosch can handle the healing that we need. Barbaroi only has 90 speed, so it's pretty easy to outrun him. I mean, look at him. He's huge! How's he gonna move around that fast? That is one long-ass tail you got there. Ow! Quit it. Yeah, having the shield spell on everyone helps out with those counterattacks a bit. Especially for Ryu. Oh, man. Again? Yeah, that's what I get for getting cocky, huh? Ow. Well, good thing I made a whole bunch of those. I might need to make some more after this. We'll be fine, though, I think. Oh, yeah, we're we're out of AP. Well, I guess we can go with a Fire Blast there. Why not? And after that, then I'll just have Sten you Slice. I don't even want to bother with... What is it? Yeah, I don't even want to bother with restoring his AP, like with, what was that? The Wisdom Fruit or something. Hey, hey, all right, got him. Well, that was easy enough. Ha ha. What do we need? I have infinite power, so that would be more than power. So yeah, if you fight him with your full party, yeah, he just taunts you, and that's pretty much that. But what would have happened if we decided to fight him one-on-one? -on -one? Let's find out! Oh, I'm not really proud of my people, I just kind of don't want to die. For boss time against Barbaroi, 
solo. Okay, so let's see. First things first, let's get a good soul shield going. That'll help out against his magical damage there. Now, I'm not going to set up the shield buff on me yet. I'll just wait until he deals a lot of damage and then I can heal and set up the shield status at the same time with one of those hard attacks. Now, you might want to watch out for his counterattacks. Yeah, let's go with that. So you probably want to set up the shield status before you start attacking him. And eh, that's not going to be much of a problem. Yeah, unfortunately, Fire Breath is non-elemental due to a bug. So having a whole bunch of dragon equipment to reduce fire elemental damage, not going to help you out that much. So you might as well just go with whatever gives you the best defense there. And a decent enough vigor stat, 90 or more, should do. Let's see, hmm. I don't want to play it risky here. Let's go with the restorative for now. I could have attacked, but if he countered, he'd probably kill me with whatever other attack he would have had in that round. Now here, I think we'll be okay. Hopefully I'll be able to get some crits that'll help out a bit too. Early on, I like to play it safe when I've got a whole bunch of restoratives. Later on, when I start getting closer to running out, I might either use a vitamin or attack and hope that he doesn't counter. The fight is actually almost easier one-on-one -on -one than it is with a full party because you've got so many more people to heal and buff up and watch out for counterattacks and your magic and all that stuff. If you wanted to, of course, you could just use Wisdom Fruits to restore your AP to max. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with a Vitamin here instead. Where did I put those things? Ah, oh, there they are. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any AP left to cast... Uh, what, what is it? Rejuvenate there. But yeah, Valhalla, that's just too much damage to deal with. Hey, hey, all right, good shot. Ow, quit it. Yeah, the fire breath and ice breath, I'm not extraordinarily worried about. Valhalla is really the only thing, and even then, there is some equipment that you could use to give yourself some thunder or lightning elemental resistance. But I don't think that's necessary, especially not just for one fight. Even one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, the defense, I think, makes more of a difference because of Barbaroy's potential counterattacks and all that. Although, so far I'm getting pretty lucky with him not countering me. Really, to win the fight, it's just... Don't get unlucky, let's put it that way. Oh, well, we get a little dodge. That's always nice. Yeah, and really, with this fight... I mean, Ryu's going to be dealing most of the damage anyway. Even without use, constantly using his dragon spells. Ow. How many we got left? Okay, we still got plenty, but might be a little more cautious here. Especially if he keeps on spamming Valhalla. Don't you ever run out of AP? Actually, almost certainly not. He's... At, whoa. Hmm. Maybe I should have used the vitamin there. Well, after this point, if he uses Valhalla more, I'll use a uh, vitamin. But otherwise, keep on getting those death blows. Hey! hey Alright! Got him! Ha ha. Yeah, we don't need infinity to take you down. Ha ha. Oh. Thanks, I guess. Oh. How useful could it possibly be? 
Well, we can't get it w with my party set up the way I have it now. So, actually, yeah, let's just keep on going up here. And we get another save point and a healing point up top, too. Actually, before moving on, let's get back to our speed equipment. So that way I can be, well, speedy or faster. Oh, no, no, no. We don't need any more courage belts. That ought to be good enough. There are some new enemies around here that I might be concerned about. But we'll worry about that later. Actually, you know what? Let's give you... What was that? The light brace for st some status protection. And... Yeah, I'm going to need you to be faster than Ryu. If that's even possible. Let's see. Okay, 115. Hmm. Okay, let's go with the... Courage belt, just to keep your you slower than Aspara. By the way, I will be swinging around to get the chest that Barbaroy was talking about, but I want to go through this part first. There's still one more treasure we can get around here, somewhere. There it is. There's some what is it? Rooms to the left and the right, but they just loop around to each other. I don't care about the Sacred Crown. Seems odd that they would put that here when it's outright weaker than the Dragon Helmet. Or Shining Helm. Okay, now in order to get that chest that Barbaroy was talking about, we need... Let's see. Sten, Aspara... Lin, well, you need Sten and Lin. That's all the characters you really need. Fortunately, there are no random encounters in this room, I think. How's it looking? Yeah, there's nothing in here. Okay, let's see. Now, there is a rock right there that you can't see. And then, okay, we need to get to Sten's... Or, well, Sten. But he can't use, well, his field ability with his current uh, fusion actives. So let's use a Diffuse Orb, get rid of that. Ha-ha! And then we get the Almighty Life Brace that protects you from instant death, which would be really good to have against the final boss. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, let's get out of here, and I'm just going to bring my party members back the way I had them before, re-up on the fusions, and then I'll Death Warp. Or, wait a minute, no, I haven't... Uh, Saved at that save point yet, have I? Whew, I almost forgot about that. That that could have been bad. I mean, I used it for, you know, changing the party up and all that, but... Yeah. Okay, so now, let's get out of here, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So let's head on to the end, then. Let's see. I was going to say last room, but not quite, actually. Especially when we got new enemies here. Okay, Hellion. Let's see. These guys can counterattack, and they have a lot of HP. Hmm. I'm thinking if attacking them is the wisest course of action. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's actually go with... Yeah, Shirako. I can restore my AP afterwards. Yeah, we're just gonna go with that because he can counterattack. He also has pretty high status resistance. So I wouldn't really bother with that. You can also use Fire Breath on your party, although I'm not extraordinarily worried about that. But it is there. Spell animation isn't quite as long as I thought it was. Oh boy. Ow. Well, at least we're not going to lose our fusions. Ow. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh, buff up. 
and we should be able to finish him off in this round. He just has a lot of HP. He's not even weak to ice like his cousin Ifrit earlier. Hey, alright. Well, I do have plenty of wisdom fruits if the need arises. Okay, so let's go like that. Well, Ryu's not at full, but that's okay for now. Oh, there's the door. Game? Well, at least we made it to the end here. But can we defeat the Dark God, Dark Death Heaven himself? Find out next time on the finale of Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!